For over three and a half centuries, William Shakespeare has reigned as the world's preeminent playwright, captivating audiences on stage, screen, and television. His enduring popularity is not merely a historical accolade. It is a testament to the timeless allure of his works. Whether relishing the drama, deciphering his eloquent language, or simply enjoying the pleasure of a good read, people are drawn to Shakespeare. His plays pulsate with action, characters teeming with life, and language that resonates with thrill. Beneath it all lies Shakespeare's profound humanity, his keen insight into the human condition, and an all-encompassing empathy for both saints and sinners. This is a tale of William Shakespeare, a man whose enduring insight, empathy, and literary brilliance continue to transcend centuries. Watch till the end to find out the true story behind one of the greatest writers of all time. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon, England, in 1564, during the sixth year of Queen Elizabeth I's reign. He was christened on April 26th of that same year, though the precise day of his birth remains unknown. Tradition has, for a long time, celebrated his birthday on April 23rd. His parents were John and Mary Arden Shakespeare. He was their third child and eldest son. Tragically, two sisters, Joan and Margaret, had already passed away before his birth. His surviving siblings were Gilbert, Joan, Anne, Richard, and Edmund. John Shakespeare, William's father, was a tanner and glove maker who held the position of alderman in Stratford for several years. He even served a term as high bailiff. However, towards the end of his life, financial difficulties struck, and John Shakespeare lost much of his wealth. In 1601, upon his death, he left William a modest amount of real estate. Information about Mary Shakespeare is limited, although some historians claim she came from a wealthier family than her husband. Little is known about Shakespeare's childhood. In the thriving town of Stratford-upon-Avon, surrounded by well-farmed lands and dense woods, the young Shakespeare likely attended an esteemed grammar school until around age 15. The quality education, primarily in Latin, was provided by Oxford-educated schoolmasters. While the specifics of his early life remain elusive, the content of his plays suggests an early immersion in the natural world, trades, outdoor pursuits, and the lives of country folk. Shakespeare's keen observations and diverse knowledge, encompassing everything from hunting and hawking to alchemy and law, were gleaned from a blend of books and astute daily observations. At the age of 18, in 1582, William Shakespeare wed Anne Hathaway, who hailed from the nearby village of Shottery. Despite an eight-year age gap, they bore three children. Susanna in 1583, and twins Hamnet and Judith in 1585. The period between 1583 and 1592 remains shrouded in mystery. Speculation suggests diverse occupations such as teaching, legal work, estate service, or touring with actors. An anecdote recounts a poaching incident in 1584, forcing Shakespeare to leave, while another, less probable, places him in London in 1588, working as a horse attendant and later as a theater page. By 1592, firmly established in London, the 28-year-old Shakespeare was recognized as both an actor and playwright. From approximately 1594 onward, William Shakespeare emerged as a pivotal figure in the Lord Chamberlain's Men, a leading theatrical company that rose to unparalleled success in England. Until 1598, 
Shakespeare's theatrical endeavors were centered in the Shoreditch Parish, northeast of London, where James Burbage managed the theater and the curtain. Richard Burbage, James' son and Shakespeare's close friend, stood as the preeminent tragic actor of the era, joining Shakespeare in the Lord Chamberlain's Men. Between 1598 and 1599, Shakespeare shifted residence from Bishopsgate, near the theater and the curtain, to Bankside, along the Thames River. There, the Rose Theater and the Swan, managed by Philip Henslow, rivaled James Burbage's theaters. In 1598, the Burbages constructed the iconic Globe Theater in Bankside. Shakespeare's association with the Globe endured throughout his active years, and his ownership shares in the theater proved lucrative. In 1597, Shakespeare acquired New Place, among Stratford's grandest residences, expanding his property holdings in both Stratford and London. In 1596, at his son's suggestion, Shakespeare's father secured a coat of arms, elevating the family's social status. Amidst legal categorizations equating actors with criminals, this distinction held particular significance for Shakespeare. By 1598, his name adorned the title pages of printed plays, receiving accolades from contemporaries like Francis Mears, who hailed him as England's premier playwright, despite critiques from figures like Ben Jonson, who faulted him for deviating from classical rules. Shakespeare's genius was widely acknowledged in his time. In 1603, Queen Elizabeth I passed away, ushering in the reign of King James I. Under the new monarch's patronage, Shakespeare's thriving theatrical troupe, the Lord Chamberlain's Men, underwent a transformation, adopting the title of the King's Men. Elevated to officers of the royal household, Shakespeare and his fellow actors enjoyed a prestigious position. By 1608 and 1609, the company embraced a shift, regularly performing at the more exclusive Blackfriars Theatre, contrasting with the open-air public setting of the globe. This private, indoor venue, characterized by higher admission fees, became their winter stage, complementing performances at the globe. Shakespeare's plays graced not only public theaters, but also the royal court and noble castles. After 1603, Shakespeare's acting endeavors waned, and his roles during his active career mainly comprised secondary characters, such as Old Adam in As You Like It and The Ghost in Hamlet. William Shakespeare, widely regarded as the greatest playwright and poet in the English language, left an indelible mark on literature, with a prolific body of work that continues to captivate audiences centuries later. His plays, totaling 39, encompass a diverse range of genres, from tragic masterpieces like Hamlet, Macbeth, and Othello, to light-hearted comedies such as A Midsummer Night's Dream and Twelfth Night. Shakespeare's ability to explore the complexities of the human condition is evident in the nuanced characters that populate his plays. Whether grappling with themes of love, power, jealousy, or betrayal, his characters are timeless archetypes that resonate across cultures and eras. His language, marked by its eloquence, wit, and depth, remains a hallmark of literary excellence. Beyond his plays, Shakespeare penned 154 sonnets, a collection of 154 poems exploring the themes of love, beauty, time, and mortality. These sonnets, celebrated for their lyrical beauty and profound insights, showcase his mastery of the poetic form. Shakespeare's influence extends far beyond the written word, permeating theater, film, and literature globally.
adaptations, reinterpretations, and performances of his works continue to flourish, ensuring that his legacy endures as a cornerstone of Western literature. His enduring popularity speaks to the universal resonance of his narratives, making William Shakespeare an immortal figure in the world of written literature. William Shakespeare's influence on the English language is unparalleled, shaping it with an abundance of words, idioms, and expressions still in widespread use. He not only penned timeless plays and sonnets, but also contributed over 1,700 words to the lexicon. Phrases like break the ice, wild goose chase, and heart of gold originated from his quill. Shakespeare's linguistic innovations, such as eyeball, bedazzled, and lackluster, showcase his creative prowess. His idiomatic mastery, seen in sayings like star-crossed lovers and all that glitters is not gold, has woven its way into everyday speech, making him an enduring architect of the English language. In the later years of his life, William Shakespeare returned to Stratford-upon-Avon, where he invested in real estate and local affairs. Despite his withdrawal from the London theatre scene, his impact endured. In 1616, at the age of 52, Shakespeare passed away on April 23rd. Coincidentally, the same date traditionally observed as his birthday. His death left a profound void in the literary world, but his legacy lived on. The playwright's monumental contributions to drama and poetry secured him a place among the literary giants, ensuring that the words of this visionary artist would echo through the ages.